Hi guys, welcome to Uwe Cooking at Home. So today I'm going to do a wrap. So let's have a look what I have prepared here. I have a turkey, turkey breast, which I cut in julienne. Then I have some tomato, I have some lettuce, some cucumber, uh, onion, ginger, garlic. People who know me by now, they know that I, I like to, to use onion, ginger and garlic. So this is the uh, inside of the tomato. I keep it because when the meat is cooked last minute, I will put it in there to keep a little bit of, not to lose the, fla the flavor of the office, and also to make it a little bit more juicy. So a lot of people maybe would throw it. We do not throw anything here. So let's go. I will start to uh, do the bacon first because I want to have it nice and crispy. So it will take will take some time. I will not will not cook it with a lot of heat. So slowly because I want it really crispy because I want to have another texture in there. So now I cook my turkey first. I put a little bit of butter and oil in the pan. Just a little oil to make sure that my butter doesn't burn. Here we go. Great. Ginger, onion, garlic. I want to have that cooked first before I, I add the, the jerky. So this will take about two minutes and then we carry on. Now I add the, the tamarind. Make sure always when you use tamarind that the tamarind is cooked so that you have fat where the tamarind is cooked before you put anything else. It's like with, like with flour, I always repeat it when you have yeah, flour, make sure it's cooked that it's not raw. Tamarind is the same. If you add it last minute and then the you will have the raw, the raw tamarind, which is not, not nice at all. So again, it will take a minute. I see my, my bacon is almost ready to turn. Okay, now I want my turkey. You see, I put the onions a little bit on the side because I want the a little bit more heat for, for my turkey. And I just season it with salt and pepper now. Okay, so now I, I mix. Because I, I wanted, the, as I said earlier, I wanted the meat a little bit more heat for the, for the turkey. Now I mix it with my onion, ginger, garlic, turmeric. Almost, almost done. But we have to make sure turkey is uh, like chicken. Normally, we we make sure we cook it cook it well done. Uh, now, you remember I kept the inside of my tomatoes. I put this in there now, and by the time when the tomato juice is reduced, my turkey is ready. Uh, I see my crispy bits in the back and start to turn them slowly. So my turkey is ready now. I want to cool it a little bit down. It doesn't have to be completely cold, but I want it a little bit cool before I put it with the lettuce because when I put it in the wrap, in my wrap, together with the lettuce, uh, I don't want the lettuce to die straight away. Okay, looks good, my bacon is almost ready. You see, I put it on the, on the kitchen paper because I want a little bit fat what is there. Most of it is hardly any fat left inside, but a little bit what is there uh, will go on the paper now. And then because I want it nice and, and crispy when I bite after in the in my wrap and I want it nice I want to feel it so almost done okay now we go and start to prepare the wrap I have just regular cream cheese 
And then now you can either you season the cream cheese before and make a make a mix, which is if you do a bigger bigger amount, it's better better to do that. But I do only small small amount, so it's okay. I don't do it. So then I have a little bit of paprika, sweet, which is sweet paprika, and a little bit of chili. Voila. Now we go. And I start the tomatoes. A bit lettuce. Cucumbers. Now I go. Okay. So you see I don't put nothing nothing on that end because I want to you need to need to close it so when it will be very difficult to close it if you have anything there. So now it depends on how, how thick you, you want your wrap, if you want to, to bite it, to eat it in, in the hand, or because if you make it make it too big then we need to serve, now I have knife and, knife and fork with it. Now, again, for people who know me, they know what, has, what I need now. Now I finish it with some nice mango. Because I, the mango gives it, gives a freshness and a little bit of, little bit of acid with it. So, and last but not least, the crispy bacon. Because I want to have a, a crunch inside. Bacon is beautiful. So I go here, then I hold the end a little bit. In between, I press it a little to make sure that there's no air inside. Now we we'll keep holding. So then I put it back. Make sure it's nice and tight. See what you can do. If you do it in advance, you roll it up, close it, and then you can keep it, keep it in the fridge. And if it's now if you leave it set for a little while, then it's a bit, it's a bit easier to slice it. So, ready to dress. So, we'll cut it in, in three. Here's the tamarind. Give the nice look at look at the inside. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, here we go. So then I just have a few potato potato chips with with it to have something else, a little bit more, a little bit more crisp. And from my from my herb garden. Just put a little bit green to get a bit more, a bit more color, and that's it. So my turkey wrap with mango and lettuce, cucumber, tomato, beautiful.